In Unit 3 we will have a closer look at research approaches and methods. This unit is divided into five sections. Section 1. Overview of approaches. In academic work there are different research approaches. At a glance it can be distinguished between three main research approaches. Philosophical research, developmental research and empirical or social research. Philosophical research can be specified as literature-based research and theoretical research, whereas empirical research can be divided into quantitative and qualitative research. In academic work, a clear distinction of research approaches is not always possible. On the contrary, mixed research approaches can be used to achieve a scientific aim. Section 2. Philosophical Research Let us have a look at the different research approaches in detail. As pointed out, philosophical research can be specified as literature-based research. Literature-based research can be defined as a critical reflection or analysis of the state of knowledge. Furthermore, philosophical research can appear as theoretical research, that is, the generation of new theories or evaluation of existing theories. Section 3. Developmental Research Developmental research is an approach used in the field of engineering or design and in some cases of business research. Examples are the creation of a new process, product or artifact such as machinery, software, painting, sculpture, music, fashion, business plan. Section 4. Empirical Social Research the empirical research approach, with its two specifications, quantitative research and qualitative research, can be described as follows. Quantitative research implies the collection and analysis of numerical data, which can include statistical data or experimental data. Qualitative research implies the collection and analysis of non-standardized data that, for example, can be derived from interview protocols. Section 5. Mixed Research Approaches In order to solve a problem in the context of an academic project, it can be advantageous to use mixed research approaches, which is to combine various approaches. An example. A general understanding of a given problem can be developed by means of qualitative interviews. Then, it might be advisable to check the scientific status quo by a thorough literature analysis. While developing a solution for the problem, it might be necessary to build a theoretical foundation. The results might lead to the operationalization, for example, by way of a business plan. In the next step, an empirical validation based on statistical data could follow. This, in turn, can be integrated into a further understanding of the initial problem.